Hey there guys, my name is Rakutzer here and welcome to Airgun Expo 2022. We're super excited to have you guys along with us. We got a ton of really great content we're gonna be bringing to you guys all week and I hope you guys really enjoy it. You know, we have some great sponsors like Gateway to Air Guns is the major promoter for this event. And we also have Airgun Pro Shop and a slew of other great sponsors and those that are supporting what we're doing. I ask you to please visit www.theairgunexpo.com to learn about just all the great companies that are making this possible. You can click right on their logo, go take a look at their page, check out their products, and even connect with them right on that page, which I think is, is really cool, and I hope you guys will make good use of that. So guys, we are gonna go jump out to the range. We're gonna be taking a look at some really cool air gun product. So I hope you guys will come along with us, not only for this video, but all week. So definitely check out our website, www.theairgunexpo.com. And I hope you guys have a good time with us this week as we take a look at some great air guns. Hey there guys, it's Rick here and we are at Air Gun Expo. We are shooting some more air guns and this, we've been shooting PCPs up until this point. Well, I guess it all depends on when you see this video. Maybe this is the first one, I don't know. We haven't figured out the schedule yet. <laughs> but before I get to that, if you wanna know what we're doing, check out our website, theairgunexpo.com, right on the homepage. We'll have a link to the schedule. You can check out all the cool content we're gonna have all throughout the week. So with that out of the way, now let me tell you about this gun. This is um, the Gamo, I think it's the Hunter Extreme Pro in 22 caliber. Now, this gun has a lot of history. And if I go all the way back, I'm not gonna bore you guys totally, but maybe just a little bit. If I go back to when I first started, there was the Hunter Extreme and that gun, I mean, when I first started shooting air guns, brake barrels were it. I mean, you could get the pumps, the multi-pumps and that kind of thing. But for max power, it was brake barrels. I couldn't afford a PCP. I didn't even know what they were at the time. But the gun that captured my imagination, really, uh, was this gun right here. This gun, uh, well, the original of this. It was super powerful. It was just marketed like the most powerful brake barrel you could get. And I guess at the time it really was. It was impressive. It was just out and out impressive. This guy is kind of a new revision of that platform. Uh, gone are the days of springs. I prefer a old school guy. I prefer the internal regular spring mechanism personally. But they went to a gas ram. It does have some advantages. You don't have the torque, the rotational torque when the gun fires, that's useful. Um, the lock time, in other words, the time it takes to actually, for all the mechanics to work and the pellet go, uh, is faster by milliseconds, but technically faster. Um, and it, uh, it generates a lot of power. Uh, people really like the gas ram. I, personally, I like a Springer. I think it's a little softer, uh, a little easier to cock. It generates nearly as much power, but you know that's just me being old school and ornery and old. But for you new guys, I get why you like the gas ram. Well, this is a gas ram version of that monster that they had years ago. And while we have a lot of PCPs, very affordable PCPs that are pushing really impressive power. The power isn't really what is so impressive with this gun anymore, but it is, for me, it's the pedigree. Um, this is kind of going back to where Gamma was making some really nice wooden steel air guns. This is all wooden steel. The breech is steel. They went back to a real, uh, steel breech here. Um, there is a plastic trigger or no, that's a metal trigger. I don't know. I'd have to scratch it with something. It feels, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to, it, it, whatever it is, it feels really good. Um, it is the CAT trigger, so it's adjustable, sort of. Um, they need to work on that, and I keep telling them that's not something I haven't told them. Um, you need to be able to adjust some of that second stage creep out, but it's smooth. It's a two pound, two and a half pound trigger, so it's fine. Cocking force on this is, it's up there. I don't know what the exact weight is, but it's not like the Magnum, although it's pretty close to that. It's really, I guess it sort of kind of is. Anyway. It's up there. If you are uh, a smaller frame, like I don't think I'd give this to Angie to go have to go shoot a big review of. Um, but I mean, it, it's got some force to cock it. The reason I don't have a scope on this is um, I really like Gamo's old open sights, and that's exactly what you have here. They're just nice, clean fiber optic sights, fully adjustable. It's got a globe up at the front. The fiber optic sights are very fine and very precise. I have terrible eyesight, um, but I can operate, at least be somewhat functional with this. What we're gonna do today with this gun, kind of as a demo, 
And it's because we have a review of this. We're going to be working with this, more review stuff. You can check that out at our, our GRIP review channel, which is the Gateway to Air Guns review program. All of those links, actually links to anything, will be in the video description. But we're going to just do a little fun shooting with this. I've got the 18-1-3s here. And I've got some, some targets from um, Bullfrog targets. And it starts with a disc about like this and goes down to like... I don't know. I can barely see the doggone thing. We're at about 22 yards. If I can hit that little one, I'll, I'll just call it a day uh, because I don't think I can hit it with open sights, but I'm going to try. And if that works well, I have something else I want to try, uh, but I'll save that for later. If it doesn't work well, then never mind what I just said. We're just going to skip to the end of this video. Anyway, let's go ahead and do some shooting now. Um, unlike the, the Gambo Swarm, uh, you do have to manually load this. Again, we're going back to like old school stuff. Doesn't bother me. Um, I do like, to, really like the swarm system, but on a gun like this, um, I, I like the nostalgia of it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the big target and work our way down. Just open sights here. And uh, I guess I haven't sighted this in a while. Let's try again. I might have been shooting this with red fires, so I may ask somebody to go grab me a tin of red fires uh, while I play with this a little bit. And then if that's the case, we'll switch out to the red fires. Okay, yeah, we are way high. Okay, that's what I thought. You know what? I'm just gonna aim low at the, I'm gonna aim at the bottom of the target because I believe I had this actually sighted for 50 yards. Um, I've got the red fires on standby in case we need them, but I'm gonna try just running with these here. I had shot this at 50 yards earlier, um, or the other day when I had family here, and I think I might have set the sights up for that. So I'm gonna try here, 22 yards, I'm gonna aim at the bottom of the target, see how we do. Yeah, there we are. Okay. So take a couple more shots. We're gonna work our way down to the teeny tiny one. I don't know, man, that is a challenge. Let's see here. There it is. Yeah, I'm having to aim right at the bottom of the target, actually under the target, but that's because I have these sights set up for shooting longer range. Okay, we'll move to the other one. The one that's slightly smaller here, so I gotta aim a little under it. There it is. Okay. So why in the world would you want to run open sights when you could be shooting with a scope? Well, there's something to be said to knowing how to shoot with open sights, guys. Um, Sometimes a scope can be um, a detriment. Like if you're in the woods, in tight woods, and you're hunting squirrels or something, open sights can be a real blessing because if you have a scope, and let's say even if you have a fixed four-power to four power scope, if, you're, if it's real tight, it can be hard to find the dog on little boogers. And with open sights, you keep both eyes open, you can track them much better. I, I want to take this out iguana hunting. I think this as an iguana killing machine would be just awesome. Um, they have their magnums, but the way the magnum is designed, the cheek riser is such that I can't use the open sights. I can't. I find it almost impossible to try and use those. This is like shooting an, an, an old friend. Um, the open sights on this are awesome. The original Hunter didn't have open sights, so to me, this is an upgrade. All right, we're going to, I'm stalling because now I got to shoot the littler target. Let's see here. All right. I need a tag team. I need somebody else to come shoot this. All right, and okay, oh, that was uh, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That makes me happy. I don't know what size that target is, but it's small, and I can't hardly see the doggone thing. I'll try again. Do I dare? I don't know. There it is. Okay. All right. This is the challenge right here. Can I hit the, 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 the niblet of a target? Let's see. Oh, I'm, 
I think I've, I've I'm, I'm, I've met my match, I believe. Let's see here. I only give up quite so quick. There it is. Um, that is pretty awesome, guys. Open sights, old school air gunning. If you want to talk about energy, we're at 4,600, 4,500 feet here. So it's not going to do what it does at sea level, but we're close to, I think if I was looking at energy, we're 27, 28 foot pounds here. So when you translate that into sea level, you're close to 30 foot pounds with this gun. Um, just such, just, this is just old school fun. Now, because that worked, I'm going to try and shoot 50 yards. So we're going to, we're going to move that camera and try and get set up for me to try this at 50 yards and see how we do. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Okay, so we've reset the cameras. The far camera is looking at a target. It's our quadrant target we used last year, and it's at 50 yards. Um, 50 yards with a brake barrel is a stretch, just full, full stop. 50 yards with a brake barrel with open sights, for me, it's more than a stretch, but we're gonna try it. Um, we were able to do it before. I was like shocked, because I had a, some family over, and I, I told him to shoot the little spinners up close, and he's shooting. I'm like, what are you aiming for? And all of a sudden, I hear this noise, and he's hitting the 50-yard target. I'm thinking, well, gosh, let's let's do that. Um, so he had a lot of fun shooting the 50-yarder. So let's see if I can do it. Um, I'm going to aim probably at the top of the target for a shot. Let's just see where she lands. It went high. Okay. Dead center, but high. So I'm going to aim dead center of the target and see where she goes. All right, here we go. Ooh, we hit it, but not clean. We hit the frame or something. Take me a minute to get ranged in, I think. I don't know what I hit. Couldn't see if I saw it. Didn't see anything move. Did you see something move? All right, let's try it again. It's all white. I need to paint the center like a little bit uh, a different color. And I can't see anything but a white square down there. So let's see here. There it is, we hit that solid. So guys, I mean, this is, I, I, I like guns like this, personally. I'm, they may not be your cup of tea, but this is old school air gunning for me. This is what I kind of cut my teeth on, is this gun right here, or guns like this. I didn't have anything nearly this nice, so <laughs> I guess it was guns like this. But this is just, it's really fun, all you need is some pellets and some elbow grease. And here we are target shooting at 50 yards with open sights. Yeah. So I will take that all day, guys. This has been a lot of fun. We got more videos to shoot. So we're gonna go grab some, some more guns and do some more shooting. I hope you guys are liking these videos. I mean, let our sponsors know. You can check them out at theairgunexpo.com. This was provided by Gamo, um, so thank you guys for, for supporting what we got going on here. And I want to say thank you to GTA, thank you to Airgun Pro Shop, because they're major sponsors this time around. And again, if you like what you see, please go to our website, theairgunexpo.com, because all of this stuff that we're doing, even though we're doing it live or you know, publishing it this week, it's going to live there forever. So you can go back, you can reference it, you can go back and take a look at our sponsors again and what they have for pages, and you can communicate directly with them. There's a form on every page where you can actually connect with those sponsors if there's something you like. So please use that. It lets them know that um, them supporting this is, is good for business for them, and hopefully it's, it's good for you guys as a consumer because you get to learn about some really cool air gun stuff. Guys, that's going to be it for now. Again, we're going to grab some more air guns and do some more shooting. Thanks for watching.